For the second time in 2017, Roger Federer and Sasha Zverev met in a final. The first in Halle in June saw a Swiss red and white wash. But with both men on long winning streaks going into the Montreal showpiece, this occasion would surely prove more closely contested. Federer was 16 without loss and giving Zverev constant reminders of his presence in Game 1. Wow, Federer unleashes on the backhand to stay in the game. Nevertheless, the fourth seed, nine matches unbeaten, got off the mark. That's nicely taken, just landing in. In the early stages, there were winners aplenty from the German. That's really good. He just pounces all over that forehand. By now a break-up, the fourth seed was beginning to boss proceedings. And Zverev has just been lights out on fire. The German number one made no mistake when serving for the opener. Zverev wraps up the opening set. He lost to Federer in 53 minutes the last time he faced him. And he's turned the tables today here in Montreal. In set two, Zverev, having saved three break points, was looking good for one of his own. Federer snuffed out numerous break opportunities over the course of two games, but couldn't hang on to his serve for much longer. I cannot Ooh. believe it. <laughs> <laughs> and he rides the win there and gets the break. Zverev has taken control of this final. He's up 4-3 in the second set, two games away from a first title here in Canada. The German number one finally with his break continued to make sure Federer wouldn't get a look at a comeback. Oh, that's huge. Dispatched. Worst case scenario, serving for the match, for the title. the champion in Montreal. He is no longer a next-gen hope. He is taking his place at the absolute top of the game. Today, the greatest of all time. No match for this youngster as Vera wins his second Masters 1000 title of the year. Beating Roger is something very special for me. Uh, he was my idol growing up, but in the other Masters I also would beat Novak, so it's both uh, both equal, I think. This one is, is unbelievable because it's my first one on hard courts. Obviously both feel special, but uh, I'm just super happy right now. And notre champion de l'Allemagne from Germany, our champion, Alexander Zverev! With a 10-match winning streak now under his belt, Zverev will head to Cincinnati looking to secure a third trophy in as many weeks. Winning those big events I think becomes more natural, but I think in Cincinnati there's still other favourites uh, there, uh, especially me, I've gone back to back now two weeks in a row, so I, I am a little bit tired, but uh, you know we'll see how it goes in Cincinnati. Sasha Zverev becomes the first man outside of the Big Four to win two Masters 1000 crowns since David Nalbandian in 2007. Fair to say then, with the second title at this level, that the young German is very much one of the men to beat on the big stage.